What is going on everyone? And I hope you're excited to take a look at my childhood Legos from beyond the grave. And enjoy watching my brand new Lego channel and join me on this adventure. As we take a look at these massive totes, I'm positive I'm sitting at 90 pounds of Lego and non-Lego toys, board game parts, and other stuff. But as I clean these work through them and reclaim my Legos from childhood, I want to make mocks like dioramas for display or minifigure skill sets. I hope it look good but also sturdy at the same time for the best of both worlds. I want to have my own flair on builds to see if I can bring something new to the table. Something cool, hopefully something unique to me, that way everyone can enjoy. Now some of you LEGO fans will notice parts you've had or seen growing up, or something rare or old, an IP you might remember. I want to try and bring back some of the old to the modern day with new ways to see it or build it. Learning more about the LEGOs I own and where they came from, I only have a few ideas of some sets from minifigures and ripped manuals from little me. At least I can say I'm using my years of art school for something cool. At least we can all enjoy this together and I can put out the best work for you to enjoy while having fun together. Now, if you do spot something cool, drop it in the comments. It will help me out and mean the world to me. But let me know if you see anything. I've tried looking up some of the parts, but little luck. But I'm a returning fan to the LEGO community, so I hope you guys will all help me out with this and give me tips and tricks to figuring out what I actually have. Now to share how I had gotten my hands on them after 6 to 7 years was my lovely grandma. She would saved them when my family had moved. I was looking for them after all this time and told me, but I didn't know why and at the same time as I walked in, I see them all sitting there. But now I'm here with you just to share this experience with you as I relearn how to build Legos and after all this long time, honestly, it's like seeing an old friend. But I'm going to be pushing my all into this channel and pump out amazing work and Lego creations for you, always to try and prove my skill with you all by my side. Now, going forward. I hope the channel will have a lot of fun. Now I do know what I want to do with the extra toys that's in the bin with this and that is I want to do a second channel showing off dioramas and displays that way I can enjoy them as an adult now and do stuff for 40k and Star Wars displays but let me know if you like the idea. But here's some boxes with some minifigures in it. A lot of these guys I have no idea who came from, or you can see also my customs. But this is what I've actually been able to dig up within the first half of that giant tote. Let's go ahead and share what I've actually been able to put back together. And first up is to show off an alien from Life on Mars. Not sure what the name is, but this feels right, it just needs to find the arms, hopefully. Let me know if you know the name. But moving on, we have three clones, a Bomb Squad, Gree, and another one I'm not sure about. But as you can see, Gree isn't exactly correct. He has Stormtrooper legs and white hands and a sun damaged arm, but let's keep moving. Up next I have Random Parts Luke. I have a bounty hunter with Cad Bane's parts, obviously. Not sure where the body came from, but as you can see, this is the rebreather for Cad Bane. And let's go ahead and move over to R2-D2 in the back. But this is more so I can show you the chip that's right here in the backpack of Boba Fett. It made me so sad seeing that when I brought him up. But he does need a little cleaning. But sadly, he's not the arm printed boba that's worth however so much now. But I'll show you that the helmet is the official Lego helmet, not a knockoff. If I can get it to focus in right. Don't know if you can see that, but 
I can show you the two that's actually printed on the inside. Let's go ahead and flip this around, see if I can get a better view in there. Oh, there we go. You can see that too up in there now. I know that the old original Boba Fett's had this too printed on the inside of them. But let me know if you know what he would be worth even with the chip. But I still think he's an awesome collectible minifig nowadays. I love the old designs. Reminds me of my childhood. But now we have the droids. The droids are personally one of my favorite from BF2. Just because I was always forced to play as them. But as you can see I have a jet droid. He's in honestly great condition. All of them are honestly really amazing condition. But and we have a security droid. He I'm pretty sure came with the MTT set. But let me know if he was not and came with a different set. That would be helpful. And I also have this commander which has I think the life on Mars body that you had just seen too. But I think he looks like a commander. It matches the style that LEGO had put out, even though it's not the yellow. And then let's pull out our Imperial Troops. Now I do have my Shadow Trooper from the olden days, but I do have these guys bought from actually Dollar General like down the street was selling these for cheap. So I had bought a couple boxes and I think I might want to try and build an Imperial Army alongside a clone army. But let me show you, I also have found some of my older helmets for the snow troopers. If I can get them out of the box. One second. Here we go. As you can see, this is the helmeted pole for the visors and printed on backpack for the mold. I love these helmets and I think they are a upgrade still over the new helmets because the new helmets don't even have the backpacks. But here's a custom as well, kind of looking like new helmets we have nowadays. But I regret using clippers as a child. But now I'll try and make something useful out of him, like a Galactic Marine or something cool. Let me know. I think it'd be cool. I have an order from Kamina coming. But here's an ARF Trooper that's been sharpied up. And I'll bring the rest of my box over and show you the rest of my lot from the junkyard. Parts that's been stained or sharpied up or just all kinds of sun damage done to them. Scratched bodies or stuff I can't save. I have plans to turn these guys over into decals and make a whole clone army out of them. I do hope it will turn out with some success and I have a few examples to show you but as you can see this one is not in the greatest condition once I can focus in on it. You can see all the scratches on the body if you can, there we go, all that scratching and wear, the print is not there. And on the back, there's even some Sharpie from trying to put on a waist, I think. I will show you some of the decals I did pick up from Kamino. And sadly, after filming, Kamino had stopped selling their decal slips. But I honestly love Kamino's decals. They was perfect for what I wanted and needed. But... If you know any other sellers that are selling these realistic style decals with variety, let me know. I'd love to check them out and see if I can get something cool. But let me show you some of the customs I've made already. Now, I have an Aerial Light helmet with Fordos print, but I'm trying to do some OG style with modern decals to try and create some cool new customs that have like this nostalgic feeling to them. But this is my specialist and I think I like him a lot. He has the red coming up over the helmet mouthpiece, but I think uh, Fordo is honestly one of my favorites. I did up his arms and legs in the decaling process, so you can see he has arc legs and arms, but I think it gives a nice look and it's nice durable and scratch resistant. So. 
I think I enjoy these decals a lot. I just wish I could have got more. But the colors go really good with the Fordo body plate that came with the gray belt. And I also have brick tactical blasters. I think it's a nice little accessory. But I think I'm going to start buying some area light pauldrons and commas to make them better looking. And alongside this is the classic style that I had put together alongside the specialist. At the moment these were the only decals I had in making them. So I had ran out of decals for the helmet to be heavy. But this is my classic. I think he looks awesome and brings him to the modern day like I had actually wanted to do. His decals are nice, crisp, and sharp with a lot of punch. So I love these guys. They are great. I hope you enjoy them and would love to see more decals. And to close everything off, I hope you enjoyed seeing this and I hope to see you next video and be part of the Nomads crew.